Join Solely Curious and I as we learn about Hispanic culture, music, and food at an event called Sabor y Vino by the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce in beautiful Palm Beach Gardens, Florida. Come with us as we try 10 different dishes from 10 different restaurants and uncover what this event is really all about. Let's do this. What is up everybody and welcome to another event, another vlog, D-Life HD and Sully Carey is here. Explain what we're doing here. So we are at Sabori Vino. That might have been said wrong, but I'm not the Hispanic here. Yes. Here we have basically all the Hispanic themed restaurants that are in Palm Beach Gardens come together and giving you the best tastes of their dishes, Hispanic dishes, that you can taste and sample over and over and over again. Yes, there's a fee to coming in. It is 40 online, 60 at the door. Join us, learn and explore, and we'll show you around. All right, so come join us, let's go. First, we try Calaveras Cantina. They offer Mexican cuisine and are located at 125 Dockside Circle in Jupiter, Florida. Unfortunately, they had pork in their main dish, which we do not eat, but we were able to taste their chips and guacamole, which were fantastic, by the way. So yeah, we couldn't taste the pork, but we're trying this. It looks pretty good. Next up is one of our favorite places, Texas de Brazil. They are a wonderful tasting Brazilian steakhouse. Let's learn a little more. We're a Brazilian style restaurant with a fixed menu and fixed price. We feature a 50 item salad area and very cut to meats, parsley with size. We're serving tonight horse lettuce, mashed potato, plank steak, and chimichurri with microwave. So every time I taste their food, I'm reminded of why I'm addicted and I always come back. It's just the flavor. It's not just mashed potatoes. It's oh my goodness, happiness in your mouth and steak, the meat is like it's just I love you. I love you guys so much. Look at that beefy goodness. Oh, oh it is. Next up, we have more Latino food goodness, and it's called Sabor Latino. Let's see what they have to offer us. My name's Edgar, and uh, we got, we're serving uh, Sabor Latino. We have homemade uh, arroz con pollo, but it is it's a shredded uh, chicken, roasted pepper, and uh, parboiled rice. Also, we have our uh, churrasco steak. For churrasco steak, it's uh, seasoned with our marinated homemade cilantro, and uh, we use the inside for steak. Besides, the, besides that, we do a uh, we do a roasted pork, also it's homemade. We roast the whole pork, we shred it, and then uh, we uh, saute with sauteed onions. We can make it as an entree, also we can make it as a taco, as a sandwich. We have two, loca two locations, one in Palm Beach Gardens, one in Green Acres. We open seven days a week, breakfast and lunch. More than welcome uh, to visit us. We have a good bar for both of us. This is a big piece of steak. All right, All right. Try the it. moment of truth. Up next is J&P Latin Cuisine. It's a Colombian restaurant located at 3824 Jog Road in Green Acres, Florida. You can visit their site and check their menu at jyplatincuisine.com. Let's see what they have to say. We got a roast con pollo here. It's made with uh, with green peppers, uh, red peppers. Uh, we got the rice and chicken. We got the green plantain. And then we got the special sauce. That actually, we're running out of it already. And then we got the meat bun, made with beef. Uh, uh, we got also some vegetables in there. We got the passion fruit. It's sweet, it's smooth. We make it out of the restaurant. Everything is homemade. Let's try it out. All right. How they feel when they feed me. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty happy too. Check this out. Oh, so tasty. 
Next up is Brazilian Coffee House. We got there a little late, so we only got to try the desserts, but they were fantastic. You can visit their site at BrazilianCoffeeHouse.com. Let's see what they brought to the event. What about some of the desserts you have here? These are from. It's a cheese bread. It's a passion fruit. It's a chocolate mousse. Next up is La Baba Mexican and Spanish Restaurants. They brought a lot of really great food and we were anxious to find out more. They are located at 730 US 1 in North Palm Beach, Florida. Let's see what we get to try next. I'm Christian, this is Justin, this is my brother JR. Uh, we're from the Bama Restaurant on North Palm Beach. Uh, we have white rice over here, black, black beans, masa de puerco. It's a, it's a slow roasted uh, pork that we deep fry for the last five minutes. Platanos and pico de gallo. Up next is Blend Bistro. They offer a ton of really healthy food options. Let's see what they have to tell us. Hi, welcome to Blend. Our restaurant has been here three years. Vegan, vegetarian, and natural meats. We also have South African wines that are chemical free and sustainably farmed. Uh, the idea of our restaurant is where healthy meets delicious. So no matter what you eat, if you're a meat eater, if you're a plant-based eater, if you're gluten-free, we do it all and we do it gourmet. This is vegan queso, so a one of a kind. We made it for this event, so we don't even have it on our menu, so you tell me what you think. All right, Bobby. Uh, that's great. Okay. Vegan queso, let's try it. That is really good. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually <laughs> surprisingly cheesy for not uh, actually is. having cheese. All right, and there's no cheese in it. Wow. No, it's like just cheese. I know. <laughs> Up next is Ceviche Arigato. Just as the name suggests, we were expecting an Asian and Latino fusion, and that's exactly what we got. Let's see what else we can learn. A ceviche and yellow pepper. It's a mar uh, raw fish, uh, marina and lemon juice. It's very good. Next is Iberia Grill. Unfortunately, we weren't able to eat any of the food because it had pork and seafood, but let's see what they had to offer at the event. So we have Portuguese paella, which is uh, seafood rice. It's got clams, uh, mussels, uh, shrimp, Portuguese sausage. It usually comes with a twin lobster, and uh, it's got calamari as well. Uh, That's a lot in there. Okay, thank you. Portuguese style. Awesome, thank you. Last but not least is Don Ramon Restaurante Cubano and Social Club. If you're in the mood for some Cuban food, this is a really good option. Let's see what tasty treats they have to offer us. We specialize in authentic Cuban food. More than that, we have a we like to offer a Cuban experience with live music. We have shows sometimes with uh, artists or events. So we like to show the whole culture, not just the food, but the whole culture of the Cuban. What are you offering here? We're offering the mixed rice, and this is like the most typical. Sometimes, depending on the area in Cuba, they call it either moros or con gris. Moro, yeah. If they're the, with the black beans or with the red beans. These are the sweet plantains, which is used in all the Caribbean area. Right. And uh, you cannot oh, miss pork? not having the pork. Yeah. The yeah, pork. we can't really have any of them. All right. Don Ramon, I've never heard about you guys until today, but you have the best sweet plantain out of the whole group here. Thank you guys for coming out today. Buenas noches. What is up everybody and what an event that was. We tried all kinds of food, all kinds of meals, and we hit the we heard all kinds of awesome music, most of the Latin flavor, of course, well, everything was of the Latin flavor. Um, and uh, what was your favorite dish? Favorite dish, hands down, Texas and Brazil. However, I did have a few different restaurants, different components that I love. Don Ramon, your sweet plantains, oh my goodness, it's out of this world. And then we have La 
bamba, your salsa. Ooh, amazing. And uh, we have several different, I think it was the cantina, your guacamole, nice pink flavor, J and B from Green Acres. One, your desserts. Love that. That passion fruit mousse. Passion fruit so. mousse. It was amazing. Almost became tied with um, coffee house. Coffee house. Vegetarian place. Yes. Okay, it so tasted like they real had this cheese that wasn't cheese but tasted exactly like cheese. And it tastes good. Yeah, it no, tastes actually, amazing. not good. It was like this is the best cheese I've ever had. And then you found out it's vegan. You know, like when your parents used to slip medication and <laughs> yeah. stuff, and you're like, what? That Wait, tastes hold so on. good. Your parents have to do it. Okay, we'll not no. talk about it. We'll talk about it later. I appreciate it, mom. <laughs> Yeah, it was quite amazing guys, so maybe next time you can come as well. Uh, trust me, you'll have an amazing time, especially if you know how to dance. I personally don't, I know I'm a terrible Hispanic, but let's leave that for another time in another place. But that's not just because you don't know how to dance, it's okay. We have people here that are willing to teach you how to dance. Alright guys, we'll see you next time. We love you. Like it, comment, tell us what you think of the video below. And remember to subscribe to D Life HD and So the Curious. Thanks, Josh. Thank you, Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. Thank you, Ford. Thank you, Total Wines. And thank you, Sunfest. We appreciate it, guys. It was awesome. Peace.